Hello guys, welcome back to the JF Butler channel and today I'm going to be doing my third Brick Mania unboxing. And uh, also this will be an update video and I'll just give some updates of what's going to happen with the channel in the future and what I'm uh, planning to do. So yeah, let's just uh, let's get right into it. Alright guys, as usual, we're going to go from the uh, smallest to largest in this uh, haul, so first let's just start out. Uh, Brickmania always gives this nice little you know, piece of paper, blah blah blah, showing off their products that they're going to release and re restock for the month. And here's the uh, coupon code for January. Very nice, very very nice. All right, let's get into the actual stuff here. So the, uh, the smallest things I got is a uh, muscle torso, three 88 millimeter brick arm shells, uh, some tan pants, because why not, and a Browning M1919 machine gun, which is going to be used for my next, you know, sort of project, my next build. So you can kind of guess what it is already. It's going to be an allied vehicle. Um, and yeah, you know, I just got that muscle torso because it would look pretty good in some mocks and stuff. If it'll, uh, the camera will focus here. Oh, come on, camera. Yeah, there you go. So yeah, that's the, uh, that's the smaller stuff. All right, let's let's get into here. Let's see. The first thing, the M3 37mm anti-tank gun, they just restocked this. Thought it looked pretty cool and it was pretty cheap so I just uh, picked it up because I really don't have any artillery pieces right now uh, for any of my factions so I got that. It's pretty cool. Next up I got the M1A1 75mm howitzer. It was uh, pretty extensively used by the United States Army. And I got it also because it's pretty cheap. It would uh, be good in some mocks. Um, so yeah, you know, another artillery piece to, you know, build up my artillery artillery collection. So uh, yeah, there we go. And next up, I got the another artillery piece, the M3 105 millimeter howitzer. This is a uh, the American 105 is just a, a little lighter for airborne troops, maybe mountain troops, um, a bit more portable. Uh, you know, it would also look pretty good in some mocks, so I just got it because why not? It's cheap, it's there, and I think it actually looks, you know, pretty cool, pretty cool. I might uh, modify this to be a proper 105 millimeter howitzer, or I may just keep it keep it as it is. But yeah, pretty nice. Alright, I got two things left. The next thing is the Flak 36 88mm anti-aircraft gun. And I got this because I know I already have a, a Flak gun, but to be honest, it's not that good. Um, what I do like about it is the sort of portable mount here. So I can like attach this to a to like a half track or a jeep or a truck or something and tow it around but the gun here the actual gun Brian's uh, Flak 88 it's it's too weak it falls apart it's it's really a hassle so I decided to bite the bullet and just get the Brickmania Flak 88 when they uh, restocked it and it looks really good I'm probably gonna I am going to build this one, you know, use it for mocks and stuff, and I'm probably going to use the instructions and build a uh, light gray one for this mount here and just replace this gun because it's really, it's kind of inaccurate and it's just a pain in the butt. So yeah, there's that. And now the last thing. It's uh, the most expensive, of course, it's the biggest but it's kind of underwhelming. The British Bedford QLC Fuel Bowser. And I didn't get this just to go with my P51B Mustang. 
um, I actually got it because you can actually modify this into a normal British uh, truck and I'm planning soon I'm planning to really build up my British army and this is gonna be uh, the first step I'm gonna build this and I'm also probably most likely gonna build a second one that's just a transport or supply version of the uh, Bedford I think it looks really nice the Brickmania one because you can just take this fuel tank off in the back and just use this entire chassis and I can just slap a, a thing on the back and it'll just be a supply truck so yeah um, it goes with the P51B it's a fuel bowser it comes with the uh, the RAF guy looks pretty nice pretty nice I think it'll turn out pretty good uh, comment below if you want me to do a review on this and a review on the flat gun or any of my artillery uh, pieces so yeah, anyways, that's the uh, that's the unboxing, and now I'm gonna give some updates here. So update number one, um, the stop motion. The stop motion is coming out very soon. However, it's not going to be a complete stop motion. Well, it's complete, like it has sounds and stuff, but it's gonna be a part one um, because I have several reasons for this. One, I'm working like almost a full time job. Kind of. I'm working like 20, 24 hours a week. And I'm also doing uh, high school at the same time. So that takes up a lot of time. Two, you know, stop motions take a lot of time uh, to actually film. And because I am have work and school commitments, it's really hard to make time to do the stop motion. Um, however, in the summer, uh, update three, in the summer, I'll probably resume it and do a part two to it and maybe a part three. Uh, I do want to complete it, but I just want to re release part one so you guys can see it. It's not amazing. It's not the best stop motion, but uh, I think it it's it's a nice try. It's a nice try. I think you guys will like it. It actually has like a story to it. Um, except the one downside I don't like about it is uh, it's all voiced by me, and it's like really monotonous when it's like all every character is voiced by the same person. So. If I make a part two, I'll probably, you know, ask ask for some uh, voice actors to get some variety in there. And then uh, update like four or whatever. Another thing I want to say is the channel will not be like completely dead until the summer. No, I am going to do like unboxings. Um, maybe I'll make some mocks. I'll do reviews and stuff, so you can still expect that content. Maybe like at least one video a week. Um, so yeah, you know that that's all I wanted to say. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And again, tell me if you want me to do a, re a review on this or any of the other stuff I got. And anyways, guys, I will see you in the next video. Like and subscribe.